This video presentation has been classified by the ABC as M. It contains material that is not recommended for persons under 15 years. Last week in Parliament, Kevin Rudd got talking about the National Broadband Network, during which he said this. If the Liberals had their way, Australians would be left using carrier pigeons for the future rather than accessing an internationally competitive broadband network. Which got us thinking, maybe the Liberals are onto something here. A few months back, a South African IT company tested their own internet speeds by racing it with a carrier pigeon. And the carrier pigeon won. But we all know that South Africa has race problems. This is Australia. Surely our internet speeds are faster than a pigeon. So we decided to test it out with this. The Great Australian Internet Challenge. The goal, to see who can transfer 700 megabytes of data in the form of the Marx Brothers classic duck soup, the quickest. The study line is here in Tarana, in the heart of rural New South Wales, a town which enjoys the same internet coverage as 90% of all connections in Australia. And the finish line is here, 132 kilometres away at a bird coop in Prospect, Western Sydney. The challenges? Team Telstra. I'll be sending my file to Veronica via the internet. But first, I've got to get myself set up with one of the two people in Tarana who have an internet connection. Team Pigeon. With thanks to the Rudy Hill Pigeon Racing Club, we got Margaret the Pigeon, who will fly the movie to the finish line. I've got her equipped, motivated. If you don't win, I'll fucking eat you. And a bunch of travelling mates just in case she's attacked by falcons. And I got a falcon. That's right, Team Falcon will drive the movie from Tarana to Prospect. Ready, set, go! As the clock struck nine, it was on for Legged and Feathered. Who would get 700 megabytes of classic comedy back to Sydney the quickest? The internet, the automobile, or the carrier pigeon? Oh, yeah. Uh, OK, we are uploading now. So far, it is at 0.2 of a megabyte. But, you know, sometimes these things start slow and, and get faster. Uh, at least that's what I'm banking on. I wonder if any birds are following me. I think they're just over there. I think they know a shortcut. Whilst I've been waiting, I've been doing little things to entice Margaret back home. Mate, you do realise the birds can't read. You don't know Margaret! For the record, I want it known that Chris's relationship with that pigeon, not healthy. How's Team Telstra? It's going all very, very nicely, I have to tell you. And I'm going to win. You don't even have phone reception. I had to call you on a landline. Team Telstra was confident, but it never hurts to have a backup plan. I think I see it. There she is. Lucky for me, Team Telstra are really bad shots. One hour into the great internet race and Dan was about halfway. Mark was only 10% uploaded and Margaret was somewhere in this vicinity. That is, if she hadn't been taken by a falcon. Great, road works. Fantastic. So now we have to go at 40 kilometres an hour. Go faster! <laughs> We slow down for a picnic. But then something disastrous happened. The internet crashed. Twice. But hey, Telstra's all about uh, under-promising and uh, over-delivering. We've just hit a toll road, and paying tolls means we're getting closer to Sydney. Dan's half an hour away. Margaret! Welcome to Prospect. Come on! Come on! Number four. There's a fence open for us. Why won't you just run? The winners are here! I've got the champ right here! Congrats. Um, say hello to Margaret. Uh -huh. Hello. She got here about an hour ago. An hour ago? Why didn't you tell me? Builds dramatic tension. What about the internet, Veronica? Uh, Mark's having a bit of an interesting time, I think. Why? <laughs> it's safe to say you looked a little stressed there, Mark, I think. Uh, you could say that. Uh, so, in the final wash-up, what were the results? Well, Margaret the Pigeon stormed in at one hour and five minutes. The car clocked a respectable two hours and ten minutes, but what about the internet? Well, look, even though it was ADSL broadband, it said the upload would take anywhere between four and nine hours. Then the net cut out. Twice the second time for good. So, Team Telstra, total failure. Good result. So, you mean that we're even worse than South Africa? Don't 
Don't prop it here. Just don't. <laughs> so, Prime Minister, maybe you should think twice before dissing carrier pigeons because if you live in regional Australia and need to send large files... Anything is better than the internet. Mm. <laughs>